gentlemen, this is Acceleration and Correlates Chapter 9.3 in your textbook. Your key concepts for this video are, what is acceleration, how do you calculate acceleration, and how do you graph acceleration? So first off, let's talk about what acceleration is. It's simply the rate at which velocity is changed. Now you know from the previous video that velocity is simply speed and a direction, so the direction of travel. Because of that, there's three ways for something to be considered accelerating. The first, increased speed. This is one we're most familiar with. As you speed up, you are accelerating. In contrast, as you slow down, that's also considered acceleration. It's a negative acceleration or deceleration. The third one, because remember velocity includes a direction, is to simply change your direction. So if you're going at the same speed in a circle, you're still accelerating because your direction is constantly changing, even though you're traveling at a constant speed. So let's talk about how to calculate acceleration. The equation in our book says acceleration is final speed minus initial speed divided by time. Now the way that almost write this is V sub F minus VO divided by T. So A stands for acceleration, VF stands for final velocity, minus the O stands for initial or original velocity divided by time. Now, there are two other ways you might see this too, and all of these are correct, but just know the ones that are boxed in, these are the ones we'll probably use in class the most. Another way to say it is A equals delta V over delta T. This is simply the change in velocity divided by the change in time, which sometimes you'll see written out as well. All of these are the exact same thing they're just different ways of writing the same formula to calculate acceleration. Let's practice with it. Example, a person is in a car traveling at 20 meters per second. They see a squirrel in the road and they brake for five seconds, slowing down to five meters per second, giving the squirrel a chance to get out of the road. What was their acceleration? So whenever you've got a word problem like this, I like to underline the various parts of it. So first, in our equation, we need the final velocity. So what did they do last? They were going five meters per second last. Then we're going to need the initial velocity, what they were doing originally. Originally they were going at 20 meters per second. And then lastly, we're going to need the time or the change over time. In this case, they gave you the time already, which is at five seconds. So I will often write out my variables and I put in what numbers represent them. So then I set up my equation. I do acceleration equals final velocity, 5 meters per second, minus initial velocity, 20 meters per second, divided by time, 5 seconds. It's really important you include all these units. So then you simplify. So we end up with 5 minus 20 meters per second gives us negative 15 meters per second, divided by 5 seconds. We're at negative 5 meters per second per second, which we write out as negative 5 meters per second squared. So acceleration, its unit, its SI unit, is either meters per second per second or meters per second squared. They mean the same thing. Feel free to try this out. Usain Bolt's top recorded speed is 12.27 meters per second. He achieved that speed in 9.58 seconds. What was his acceleration? Here's your equation. And you'll notice I only gave you two numbers, but you still need three. His initial speed. What is the initial speed of a person standing still at the start of a race? That's your clue. Let's talk about how to graph acceleration. Acceleration can actually be graphed on two different graphs. One is a distance versus time graph, which is the same graph we used for speed. So we can do a positive acceleration, which is a curved line up. A curved line that is relatively flat means a slow acceleration, whereas a quickly curving line means fast acceleration. You can also show negative acceleration this way. If it's curving downward, that is a negative acceleration. The easier way to read acceleration is on a speed versus time graph. So this, straight lines represent a constant acceleration up. So here we're speed versus time. Going up, we've got our constant acceleration. When it's flat, that means we're at a constant speed because we're not speeding up or slowing down. We're at a nice constant speed, so no acceleration. 
and we can also then go even steeper and this would show a really fast acceleration because our speed increases much quicker. That's it. Be sure your notes hit all the key concepts and vocabulary and feel free to try this challenge question.